All right. I'm going to do a really, really quick live video. Um, not sure that anybody will see this right now, but I needed to do this while it's fresh on my mind. So this is a card that I received in a swap and I liked the layout. So I kept it aside because I wanted to recreate that and show you how I made it. So this is the card that I'm going to show you. And let me see if I can get the screen a little bit better. Yeah, I think it's okay. So, like I said, this is with updated material. The poppies are still very current, even you know, even though we can't really get the dyes right now, but they are coming back at some point again. So, let me get right to it. I'm starting out with a regular piece of cardstock that I scored in half, and I'm using the thick white cardstock. Then to create that ankle, I'm going to give you some measurements. That, that's what happens when you go live unexpectedly. I um, set stuff aside, but I didn't carry it over to the camera. <laughs> anyway, I have it here now. So what I'm doing to start out with is I'm going to measure an inch up here and then an inch or two inches over here. Becky, you didn't miss anything. Oh, you missed the beginning there. This is the card that I'm going to show you and the inspiration card. Let me see if I have it. The inspiration for it was this one. So you didn't miss anything. Let me start over. I just went to get my white cardstock and I'm going to measure one inch on the right side and then two inches on the left side. And I'm going to take the paper trimmer. Now I know how well this will fit on the camera. And we'll see. I'm going to try to keep it in the picture. I'm going to open my card. That's pretty important. Oh, Becky says there's no sound. Oh, Lordy. Now I got it. Okay, Lynn, can you hear me? Becky said there was no sound. Okay, good. Brian is on. Hey, Brian, I'm glad to see you. That's awesome. All right, well, back to business. I just made some marks, one at one inch and the other one at two inches. And now I'm going to cut it on my paper trimmer. And I'm just going to put those marks on the cutting track. And then I'm going to use the cutting knife and cut from one side to the other. So now we've got that ankle on there. And then before I decorate it, I'm going to stamp my greeting on there. And the greeting that I'm using is from the Ornate Thanks, which you can get right now. And it's also going to be in the new catalog coming up. All right, so I, ahead of time, had already put the greeting in there. So you didn't have to watch me do that because all of you know how we put our cardstock in the stamparatus, put our greeting on here, and then we're going to stamp it. So I'm going to just stamp the fine print <laughs> the, from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to stamp that in black. I'm going to do this light-handed first so I don't get too much ink on there. And then I can always stamp it a second time if I need to. Good deal. All right, let me clean this off really quick so I don't transfer ink on my fingers. I'm known for that. And then I would have fingerprints on my card. Well, I'm using the, sta the same Stamparatus plate and I'm just going to flip it over 
and I've already got the thank you mounted on that side so you didn't have to wait for it. And I'm using the Poppy Parade ink pad for that. Right, let me see that I'm in the screen. I'm going to ink that up, hopefully light-handed. Earlier, I was so excited that I got ink everywhere. And while it's not a problem, it shouldn't transfer over, I'm just always worried that I'm a little picky and it might transfer over. So, see, it didn't stamp well enough over here, so I'm just going to ink up a little bit more. And we're going to stamp it one more time, and I'll just apply pressure where I need it. And there you go. And we'll clean this again and move it away so I can show you the rest. Let me get some pieces over here. Alright, so for the inside, I'm using a piece of designer paper. So that's another card that's really good for us that collect papers. I'm not going to use the hoarder word. <laughs> but, you know, we all have paper, and that's a great way to use it up. that on there let me shrink this down I've just gotten a message then I've cut two strips of cardstock that are roughly three quarter of an inch wide by five inches long and I'm going to adhere them to one another uh, let me see that's gonna be my bottom one I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on there Let's see. I'm going to put this on top. Yeah, so I had to kind of stop and rethink for a minute. You don't want to put a lot of adhesive on there because you need to leave the bottom edge without adhesive. So we have this fine little border that is going to show on your card. And then we can put adhesive on here or you can put it on the inside of the card. It's always safer to put it on the inside of the card, I think, because now I know for sure that it's not going to show up on the front of the extended cardstock. So I'm going to line this up even, and then I can use my scissors and trim this off. And same here just straight down so this is the little trick to keep this very straight and then I've already die cut my pieces for the poppy so you didn't have to wait and watch and be bored and all that because you all know how to die cut there was nothing special now let's see if I can align it yep really quick without you know having to rotate it too much there I only put adhesive in the center and I'm gonna pop the poppy up <laughs> that's funny pop in the poppy up I'm using my dimensionals I'm just gonna put two in the center and bring it onto the card let's see I'm gonna just put it right there and then I have my little pieces I had on the side, I had to fetch them. Again, a little bit more adhesive. I'm going to put that in the middle. And then that little fussy piece, I'm going to put that in the middle on top of that. So it just gives it a little bit more dimension. You could even pop that up with our black dimensionals. That would even be awesome. And then some more liquid glue. I'm going to sneak that leaf under, like so, and I'm going to sneak the second one 
under here i'm going to let them peek out and then what i like doing to give a little bit more dimension to those leaves i'm gonna use some little dimensionals and sneak it if it won't stick to my finger there i'm gonna sneak it under the tip of the leaves and same here so there you got it that's a really quick card i will post the details to my blog later with the measurements and everything but um i thought that's a pretty clean and modern looking card it was done very quickly and great use of this large stamp set it's becoming one of my favorites very quickly all right you guys i hope you try it out and let me know what you come up with thanks for checking in Bye.